Okay, everybody. Today we're uh, going to be talking about uh, powdery white mildew. Um, I don't know if you know what that is, but it's sort of a, a virus or a sickness that plants get. Usually comes from outdoors or from somebody else's garden when you take a clone and you bring it into your pure garden. Okay, now powdery white mildew can look very similar to spider mites or thrips. Right. What I'm smoking here today, this this is uh, Godzilla. It's a cross between um, Sin City Seeds Cherry Fuel and uh, T99, which is Wonder Seeds T99. Uh, this is very pungent. It's an extreme flavor. Um, it's more flavorful than anything that I've tried from other people. Uh, but it was highly infected with powdery white mildew. Okay, I got this powdery white mildew because I brought a clone in from outdoors. I was growing some outside plants, and there was a specific plant that I, I, I saw uh, that I really wanted to bring back indoors. So I took a cutting and I bring it back in. Um, it slowly kind of just didn't uh, produce as much, and it got like these little white specks kind of all over. I really didn't know what was happening. You know, I just figured that uh, it was an outdoor plant and maybe something bad was happening to it and I just get rid of it. But I kept it for quite a while because I wanted to breed with it. And the rest of the plants uh, got infected with powdery white mildew. And because I uh, like to restrike plants, you know, you uh, flower them and you cut them down, you leave a little bit and grow back out. This produced the perfect environment for um, a really uh, kick-ass strain of powdery white mildew that's hard to deal with. Unless you shut down, scrub down, just get rid of everything and then start up again. That's how you get rid of it. But you can control it and defoliation is the way you can control it. Okay, now I wanted to talk a little day uh, about, this is the fifth back cross right here. We went uh, and cloned the original Thunderstruck. Uh, we took the original Thunderstruck clone and we back crossed it six times. This is the fifth back cross. This is uh, one of the fifth back cross ones, the only one that I actually really liked a lot. It, uh, it tastes, has sort of a grapefruit taste. And like I said, this is Godzilla here, and uh, the flavor from it having powdery white mildew, and it had it really bad. I didn't think this was even going to produce any bud. I was going to scrap this plant, but I massively defoliated it. I took almost all the leaves off. I thought I was going to kill it. But instead, it actually produced some good bud. But since it was so infected with the powdery white mildew, the flavor, about 80% of the flavor is gone. But it's still very potent and uh, very good weed. So I was uh, I was kind of amazed that it, uh, you'd even get anything. Um, fifth back cross. This is uh, very interesting stuff. Um, it reminds me. It's potent. This is very potent. It has very potency to it. But the hybridized version of uh, Wonder with other plants like the Godzilla, it's definitely superior. Now, um, potency, you can have, you can drink a glass of Drano and that would be quite potent, but it's not something you want to do and you wouldn't enjoy it. Um, this is much more enjoyable and it's more potent in a certain way. This is more like a, kind of like a sleeping pill. I mean, you'll smoke it and it'll just want to knock you out and you'll get back up, smoke it and it'll just knock you back out. The most potent thing that I ever smoked was some uh, black hash from uh, Amsterdam. But the quality wasn't anywhere near as good as, as my pot. I mean, it was for just potency for making you go to sleep, you know. I mean, it just knock anybody out, you know. But, you know, you wake up with a headache. You wouldn't want to smoke more of it, you know. I mean, so it, quality is a big, big factor. I mean, that's what I call quality. I mean, quality is something that you want again. If it isn't quality, you don't like it, you don't want it again. I mean, people want quality. That's what they want, you know. It's quality. Well,